What's going on, guys? Redbeard here from the Warrior Tribe and Redbeard's Wilderness School. I thought I'm up here on vacation at the beautiful Lake Talon um, near North Bay, Ontario, which is the very beginning of Northern Ontario, uh, for those who aren't aware. Um, it's amazing. It's, I, I love it up here. I used to cottage up here when I was a kid, and I didn't really realize just how much I, uh, I love it up here because back then I wasn't uh, so in tune with nature as I think I am now. So uh, yesterday got out, did some really great trails with uh, the family and got some incredible uh, pictures of some different fungus and uh, flowers and different uh, plant life out there and beautiful scenery all around. And today, with the weather being a little bit better, I thought I'd try my hand at some more fishing and uh, I've about 400 casts out into the water. Uh, nothing. It's, it's a tough lake, they tell me. It's a small, really small lake and it's part of the uh, Mattawa River um, and not too far from where they do their... Uh, uh, I don't know, flow control or whatever. So local guys around here saying it's a tough river to fish, which made me uh, a little nervous because I'm not a good fisherman. I don't know a lot of the skills, um, but it's something I want to work on and learn. I fished when I was younger, um, but with no sort of, you know, real training or ideals, just, you know, casting bait into the water, bobbers and pulling out bluegill sunfish and, you know, maybe landing a smallmouth bass once in a while. Never in my life have I caught a northern pike, and uh, since I've been up here, I've caught uh, two. One was pretty small, um, but my daughter really wanted to try the taste of pike, so I, I cleaned it up. And uh, with today's catch being a little bit bigger, uh, three and a half pounds, I thought it'd be a good opportunity to do a little video on how to deconstruct a round fish, uh, this one being northern pike. Uh, pike is uh, a large family of fish, um, ranging from... Uh, I believe perch, pickerel, pike, muskellunge or musky. Uh, it's a fairly large family of fish. Uh, this one here didn't put up a very good fight at all to me. Uh, threw my line out with a, a daredevil on it and he bit it right away after I switched lures and I just reeled him right in. He put more of a fight up in the net, but uh, it, was, uh, it was good. Anyways, without uh, rambling on too much more, show you how to break down a fish the way I know how. I'm sure uh, you avid fishermen out there have a lot more technique and uh, perhaps uh, some tricks and tips that uh, I could learn myself. But uh, as, a, as a chef, uh, with the tref, chef training I have, uh, breaking down a round fish is basically the same throughout all the, the fish family in, in the round fish family. Flatfish uh, from the ocean are a totally different animal. But uh, with this, I'll show you how I do it. And I know Musky, a lot of bones, or sorry, pike, a lot of bones, but, uh, you know, I'll do my best to get around there and see if I can pull out some nice fillets. I'm going to uh, scale this as well, uh, rather than uh, skin it. Um, I don't have the proper knife to do a skinning, and I like the taste of skin. So I'll get the scales off, and we can eat that. Anyways, stay tuned, and we'll, uh, we'll show you how it's done. So as I said, guys, I'm a, a chef, not a, not a fisherman, so I don't have the proper... Uh, uh, filleting knives uh, that you might all carry in your tackle boxes. In fact, all I have is a, a fishing pole and a few lures. Um, so I'm more comfortable with my chef tools. So I've got a rigid boning knife, which is like a fillet knife, but this one doesn't have much flex, so not really good for foot uh, skinning. And I have my very sharp uh, eight inch Japanese chef knife. I'll use those two tools to deconstruct this fish. So what I wanna do is I wanna start by eviscerating and removing the uh, the guts. Okay, so I'm just going to start right up here, making a slight incision into the skin, and just zipping that open right down to his bottom. He's slippery, so I got his paper towel it makes it stable. Not the sharpest knife in the world, this one. This one came with the cottage. <laughs> All right, there we go. All right. So inside there, we got some guts. We'll just need to pull those out, get it all cleaned up. So I'll yank those out, give it a good rinse, and we'll move on to the next step. All right, guys, so now that we've got him gutted, rinsed out, 
I got them on some paper towel here. Helps keep them from slip sliding all over the place. Of course, fish are uh, extremely slimy. Gotta rinse my hands, keep my uh, hands dry so that I don't cut myself. Of course, uh, slippery hands and knives, never a good combination. Okay, so at this point, you know, I'm gonna use my larger knife, okay? This could be bizarre to some of you fishermen, but it's, like I said, it's what I'm used to and it's what I'm comfortable with, so that's what I'm gonna do. What I do, I'm gonna give you the you know show from the back side here. I'm gonna lift up that gill, and right where that gill connects to the body, or the head, sorry, I'm gonna make an incision just like so. Just maybe a little bit back a bit more. There we go, right behind there. Okay, right down to where I made my first incision. Okay, and as you can see, a nice fish flesh in there. Okay, snip through there like that. All right, and then it has a spine that goes all the way down, just like so. Halfway, I'm gonna find that point right about there, and I'm gonna make an incision. Just about there, okay. This guy's got thicker skin. And then, you know, just make my incision all the way back down, all the way to the tail. Just just enough to break the skin. I'm not really getting into the meat yet. Just enough to break the skin. Alright. Okay. Once I start hearing that raking sound. I know I'm near the rib, so I want to slow it down and just trace them around so that I don't get a fillet full of bone. Okay. Yeah, sorry about that. I just had to stop for a second and uh, take the head off. It was uh, kind of getting in the way. Anyway, so I'm going to continue on taking this fillet down this the uh, the rib bones and right off of the fish, okay? And then I will flip it, do the other side. All right, so we've taken, I've taken the one uh, filet right off, okay? Take it out nice, nice size. I need to trim it down. We still have the belly fat, dorsal fins, and things like that to uh, remove. But uh, what I did was I sacrificed a little bit of the meat along the ribs so that I don't get all these pin bones or as little of pin bones in there as I can, I can uh, manage. It's, uh, it's not easy because it's just the nature of the way this, this type of fish is designed. But uh, so not too much left behind. You can always scrape that down, make fish cakes, whatever you want. But uh, I'll clean up this filet and we'll see what that looks like. And then I'll just do the other side. All right, and that's it. So I just took the uh, knife, cleaned off the belly there, and just trimmed off a little bit of the tail. A bit of the undesirable parts up top here. And... Uh, Unlike salmon and other softer uh, fatty fish, uh, the pin bones are a little bit difficult to remove. So we'll leave them in, not to deal with uh, the few that there are. But yeah, nice decent fillet. Certainly enough for uh, one person with other food, you know. And then I'll take the other side off. And uh, with the other fish I caught the other day, uh, we'll have a little bit of fish with uh, the rest of our dinner. So it's, uh, it's pretty easy. So there you go, guys. I'm sure, like I said, I'm sure you guys are uh, experts out there uh, who fish all the time. You probably have some better ways. You know, when you do something 100 times, you get really good at it. But for those of you who've never cleaned a fish, this, the process is the same. You could go to the grocery store, buy a, a red snapper or a, or a rainbow trout off the seafood counter and, you know, comfortably know that you could, with the right tools and a little bit of skill and uh, patience, break down your own fish and uh, save some money and uh, have some fun and, you know, be self-reliant. Anyways, guys... Thanks for bearing with me. I know I'm not a pro on this one, but as a chef, it's something I did anyways with different fish, just never a pike before. And uh, about the same, not too much more difficult. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy eating this guy. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.